Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good? Yes. He who has ears, let him hear. That's what we heard in today's gospel, right? Ugh, I'm getting gold. Have a seat. So, who knows what was the gospel reading that, fought, that the deacon was reading today? Ah? Huh? You forgot. Okay. It's okay. We sometimes, that happens to us a lot. Okay, wow, wonderful. She recorded a lot. Parents must be careful what they speak in front of children. So, we, we, she, you said that uh, a few seeds fell and on the ground, a sower went out to plant to, to try to throw seeds into the ground and have a harvest, right? And birds came down and chewed up the seeds that fell on the ground, and then there were others that fell close to a rock, but they didn't produce anything, and then there were others that fell in between thorns, and also those were choked, and we have a few that fell into good soil, okay? So to the parable that Christ read, to, that the deacon read today is Christ's parable of the good sower. So imagine somebody, uh, like a farmer, going out and wanting to plant some seeds before the harvest season, right? So he has to make sure that these seeds fall into good soil, into good earth, right? That can, pre that can absorb them, and then those seeds go inside, and then they start opening from within, and roots start coming out and spreading into the soil. And what, what do they get from the soil? Nutrients. They get a lot of nutrients. What else do they get from the soil? Water. Sun as well. Sun once they come out of the soil. And air. They need air. Well, actually, they need carbon monoxide, which we give them, and then they produce air for us, oxygen. But, again, this is a religion class, not a science class. But good on you for, for, for giving us those answers. So, Christ was very, very meticulous. He was very specific. He chose a couple of scenarios, a couple of different situations where if the seed does not fall on the proper ground, it's not going to give any fruits, right? So the first one, as you mentioned, it fell along the path, we heard in the gospel, and it was trodden underfoot. Now those are very, very technical words, but basically what happened was this sower, his aim was lousy, probably he was not aiming properly or he was just throwing everywhere, and some of the seeds fell on the road, on the side of the road, and people walk on the side of the road, right? So what's going to happen to these seeds if they are walking on the side of the road? People trip, they're going to they're going to be crushed. That's what trodden underfoot means. They're going to be crushed. They're going to be disintegrated. So nothing's going to, they're not going to, you know, hold down into the ground and produce any harvest. But then others, then that's when the birds came and they started eating whatever was left. So imagine, not only were they destroyed, but also the birds ate whatever was left because it landed on the road. And then some fell on a rock. Now, some rocks might have a little bit of dirt on top of them, right? So initially, those seeds start growing some roots on that little tiny little piece of dirt that's on the rock, but under it, the big boulder, for example, what happens to those roots if it has no place to go? It stops because it gets blocked by the rock. The rock is solid and it cannot allow it to settle, set its roots, right? So it cannot get water, it cannot get its nutrients. And then it grew a little bit, but then with time, since its roots couldn't go all the way down to the ground, 
it ended up withering, it died off. Finally, some fell among thorns. What do you think this means? What happened with these ones? They grew. Huh? They, they, they grew like plants on the thorns. They ruined them. They choked them. So basically what happened was when the plants started growing, all of the thorns were around them, and they were like grabbing the plants from the next. They were not getting any oxygen. They were not, or any carbon monoxide. They were not getting any nutrients. They were being choked, so they were not allowed to grow. But then a few fell on good soil, right? And those that fell on good soil, what happened to them? They per grew perfectly fine. Why? Because the roots went all the way down to the ground. If you see a big tree up there, you, what do you think holds that tree up high? The roots, especially the, the, as high as you see that tree going up, imagine that there are probably roots going down into the ground or else the wind is going to tip it over. It's going to make it because it doesn't have solid, solid grasp on the, on the soil. Now, when Christ spoke this parable, he wasn't talking only about farming. He was talking about what? Us, our hearts. He was talking about the seed being what? The Word of God. And when he disperses the Word of God, when we hear the deacon read it out, those seeds are meant to fall into our hearts and they are meant to grow roots in our hearts. But what happens when we're surrounded by not so good people, like not people that are not so good? The thorns choke us. So if we're surrounded by people like bullies and people that are mean, Remember, we got to choose wisely who our friends are, right? But if you know that somebody's being mean to somebody else, you kind of want to be a, away from them. Probably give them a little bit of the fruits of the seeds that grow from your heart and tell that person, you know what? What you're doing is not that nice. And you, you're being a little bit mean. I think you could be better. So you are giving the fruits that, produ that were produced from the good soil that came from your heart because you heard the word of God. That way, that person's seeds or that person will not choke you. So you got to be careful who you surround yourself around. But if your heart is hard like the road, what's going to happen? Well, in the long run, but what's going to happen is people are going to walk all over you. If you're not solid, if you are not grounded in the word of Christ, then people are just going to walk all over you, just like they walked all over the seeds and broke them. So whenever they tell you uh, to do something that you're not supposed to do, you're not going to think twice and do it. And the birds are going to come and eat the seeds and take one by one from your heart. And what happens if inside your heart a seed falls but there's something else behind it like many thoughts many games for example like all you want to do is just spend time playing nintendo switch or or things. sometimes i'll go to church on sundays but then other times most of the time i want to i want to just have fun what do you think this looks like You're not praying to God all the time. This would be the case where your heart, although it has a little bit of soil, you come to church on Sundays, but the roots won't sit because you have other rocks hitting, lying inside of you. So we got to be careful. We have to make sure that our hearts are as fervent as the soil, that they are ready to receive the Word of God so that we can produce many fruits and go out into the world 
and show everybody the beautiful fruits that the Word of God produced in our hearts, okay? But there's something else that we must do, and I'll finish with this. Do plants need water, yes or no? So what is the water that we must give every, every, every day? The body and blood of Christ. We must come to church and water the plant that's growing within our hearts with the body and blood of Christ. We must come to church also and give it some air, right? Give it some sun. And who do we call the son of righteousness? Christ, God. He is the son of righteousness. So in order for that plant that is growing in the good soil of your heart, for it to grow, you must give it water, you must give it sunlight, which is Christ, His face, and you must give it also air. Today we also celebrate the Seventh Ecumenical Council. I won't get into what I'll talk about, what the council is, but in that council they defended the icons. And one thing that you can see that all icons have in their background is what? What color? Gold. Why? Because imagine the icons being like windows. Do you see those, that, that glass over there? So that glass divides the people that are see, sitting here from the people that are sitting there. But if you go through that glass, there's something behind it, right? There, there are other things behind it. The same thing with the icons. What's behind what we touch is the light of Christ that illumined the life of that saint. And that is the light that we must have so that in our hearts, the plants grow and give off fruits, okay? So always remember, associate yourself with good, good people, good friends, try to listen to the Word of God, allow it to sit in your hearts, and make sure that your heart is fertile and a good soil so that the plants can grow the Word of God, okay? God bless you.